is my Chocolate Lab Sadie, for those of you that don't know her from my other videos. Today, she is here to help me tell you the answer to the question, can dogs get monkey pox? Um, obviously, this is a topic that has really exploded in the last few months. Obviously, we're on the tail end of the COVID pandemic and people are worrying that this monkey pox um, pandemic is going to start and we're gonna kind of start back from the beginning uh, where we were with COVID. So um, people are asking a lot of questions. A lot of people are panicking about it. Um, absolutely understood. So I've had a lot of people writing in and sending messages asking if their dogs can get monkeypox. Unfortunately, the short answer is yes. The Center for Disease Control has been warning people for months that monkeypox can be spread from humans to their pets. Um, about a month ago, there was some fuel added to the fire when a French medical journal published an article about an Italian greyhound contracting the disease. The link to that article, if you click the link below this video, that will take you there. Um, and you can check that article out for yourself in that publication if you'd like to. Um, basically, the owners who had contracted monkeypox allowed their greyhound dog to sleep in bed with them. And days later, the dog broke out in lesions and was diagnosed with the condition. While this report is the first documented case of monkeypox in dogs, it has been seen in rodents and other wildlife as well. So again, that's why the Center for Disease Control is really um, you know, promoting that and telling pet owners that it can be spread from humans to animals. So you need to be very cautious about that. Because this is such a new discovery, there isn't a lot of guidance on the topic just yet. What the CDC is saying is that if your dog is exposed to monkeypox, they should be quarantined for 21 days. Likewise, any person that's been diagnosed with monkeypox should stay away from their pets for 21 days. I would certainly also recommend contacting your veterinarian, whether your dog has been exposed or you've been exposed and you've been around your dog. Um, you want to just contact your vet, even if your dog's not showing any symptoms, just make them aware. And, you know, because this is something that's so new, it may be something that your vet doesn't have a lot of information on as well. So uh, research may need to be done. Some phone calls may need to be made to other experts in the industry. Um, so just give them a heads up. This is what's going on. And, you know, they can be prepared for what's going to happen down the road. So signs to look for in yourself, um, fever, a rash with pustules or um, papules, a headache, muscle aches, backache, swollen lymph nodes, um, chills, exhaustion. So a lot of times it's like flu related symptoms, um, but you will, you should notice the rash, um, the lesions as um, I, I mentioned that the report calls them. And to look for in your dog, that rash, those, those lesions, whatever you wanna call it, um, the pustules and the papules that are going to be filled with pus um, and probably bursting at some point. So keep an eye out for that. That's definitely the first sign. Um, coughing, any other respiratory signs, fever. Um, dogs may get conjunctivitis or you might just notice like a lot of gunk around the eyes and decreased appetite, lethargy. Those are things to be looking out for. So if you've been exposed, if your pet's been exposed, be very, very cautious. As I mentioned, 21 days, um, stay away from your pet if you've been diagnosed and have your pets be quarantined for 21 days. Obviously that's a really long time. It seems like um, terrible for your pet to be quarantined in a room by themselves for 21 days. But if it helps to stop the spread of the disease, it's certainly gonna be worth it in the end. And again, a phone call to your veterinarian just to give them the heads up is my personal recommendation. 